Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, let's ask a question to our tarot cards about your love interest. So we will ask, how do they see you right now? How do they see you? What do they expect from you? What do they want from you? What are their hidden expectations? And what are they afraid about this relationship? What, they af what are they afraid of? Okay. And let's see what will happen in, um, in the near future. Let's say, well, a month or two. <clears throat> so we have four questions here. I have four different tarot card decks here. First is... Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg, second is Minchat Etruria, fourth, uh, third is uh, Tiro, Tiro Marchetti, uh, Legacy of the Divine Tarot, and the fourth is uh, Medieval Scapini Tarot. So, if you'd like to participate, think of a person and choose your deck, and let's have a look. What do they have to say? Have you chosen? So, let's have a look, starting with our deck number one. This is our deck number one. So, how do they see you right now? Look, the cards are pretty good. Uh, we have King of Clubs, Lovers, and Ace of Coins. So he's represented as a King of Clubs. He looks at the Lovers card. So I think he um, sees you too as a potential couple. Or maybe you're already in a relationship, you know. Because a couple card near the person might talk about, um, you know, them being in a relationship already or thinking about it uh, and we have the Ace of Coins which is like an opportunity to be in a relationship together so I think they might see you as a new potential partner as a new opportunity yeah and at the moment I think the mood is that of excitement you know no negativity no anything just excitement with the Ace of Coins uh, it feels like a gift, you know, it feels like mm, a gift, yeah, and the feeling is like butterflies in your stomach, it's like you meet someone new, and you have this feeling that, uh, you know, what if something else will happen here, you know, like you feel that potential, you know, but it's still too early to say because, um, or because, you know, you have to develop it, so it's just that sense of opportunity. Now, what do they expect from you? Let's have a look. What do they expect from you? Eight of Cups, Ten of Coins, Six of Clubs. Well, Eight of Cups can indicate that uh, either that uh, you're right now separated or because the person is walking, you know, it's some sort of distance. So we can see that um, there is a sense of that they feel that you're not around or something. And uh, I definitely feel that they want you to come to the house or something. Because Ten of Coins is a family. Mom, dad, grandma, etc. So, and the Six of Clubs is like a visitor. It's a Trump success. <clears throat> so something to do with the long term, very noble expectations. Maybe they want you to come visit to the family, maybe they want someone from your side to come to their family, um, maybe they want, they're want they looking for some sort of message or visit, you know, that will happen. It's a little bit social visit, I'm getting a little bit not uh, like one-on-one, -on -one because we have here the whole family, kids, 
nieces, nephews, father, grandfather. And then we have this six of clubs, which is like one person. And he has, he's coming with other people to your house, to their house maybe, because that's what they expect. So I'm, I'm getting long term, some sort of like family related expectation here. Maybe they're thinking about marrying you. Maybe if you're already married, then they're thinking they want uh, you to invite some guests or something. You know, like attend some function, like family thing. And it's very official, it's very noble. So what are they afraid in this relationship? What are they afraid when it comes to you both? The Knight of Swords... Five of coins, seven of clubs. Well, definitely they have fears. Uh, the fears can be, you know, one is financial fear. One is, uh, you know, maybe that you will leave them because you don't have enough money. You know, here we have the five of pentacles. As you can see, uh, they are wearing like rag, uh, rags, I think they called um the broken clothes torn and stitched as you can see here with um patches and he is sad because you know maybe he doesn't have money and you're kind of turning away like as if to walk off so i think maybe they're afraid about financial finances it's very valid fear i think um And I think they're doing everything for this not to happen here, the Seven of Clubs. They're doing everything for this not to happen. Five of Coins can be a card of lovers as well. So maybe they are afraid that you would leave them for someone else here. I think they have a very kind of valid anxiety when they're around you. It can be the they. Even right now, the uh, very conscious about the poverty thing, about the um, financial thing, maybe they think uh, it can happen or it's already happening. Like money is less, and they cannot give you what you would like, you know, so to say. And uh, and maybe are they trying? Maybe they're trying to hide this, or they're trying to fight so it doesn't happen. So, yeah, this is their fear. But they're not the type who give up, gives up. Yeah, they are the fighter. They're doing everything for this not to happen. Mm. Also, Five of Pentacles is not only like poverty financial it can be simply that you would not be happy with them let's say you would not be uh, feeling like um you're nurturing yourself that you're growing developing that you're gaining something out of this relationship they're just afraid of general misery i would say dissatisfaction um this card comes from people um uh, are really kind of having it hard being together, so it's just general, um, how to say, incompatibility <laughs> it can be. Okay, so let's look at our question number four, and that question is, what will happen in the near future regarding this person and you? Magician, Queen of Cups, King of Coins. Well, we have many, many people here in the, those three cards. Magician, Queen of Cups, and King of Coins. So first of all, it can be that... Um, you know, that they, they will be a meeting with you to... Okay, first of all, it can be that you both will be doing something new, like creative projects, work, something like that, that you, if you're together already, it can mean that you both are, you, if you're a female, you will do something creative, maybe some creative project, uh, something that is your hobby, that you like, that you're good at, that you're talented at, and they 
will help you financially with that project or they will take care of finances when it comes to it. So if you're doing some business together, it can be that you're both take care of different spheres in that uh, whole thing. It can also be that, uh, well, I'm getting a pretty harmonious here, some sort of like connection. It can be that uh, lots of confidence activity, you know, that you're both enjoying each other and... Uh, and you're thinking of something like creating something, manipulating something, experimenting with something, you know, in life, maybe with finances, maybe with business, maybe with starting something new. Let's pull more cards. Uh, it can be just daily practical things, you know, that happen. What will happen between you two, between one and two months? Five of Cups, Ace of Cups and Temperance. Well, I guess, uh, you know, it's just emotional upside downs or up and downs, how to say. I, I get healing, basically, a very calm period, uh, a very calm period. It can be that if you had any problems between each other before, let's say that you were sad about in the past, I think uh, you will feel some sort of rejuvenation in that area, like your feelings will refresh you will feel in, in like you met just uh, recently, if your husband and wife, for example, it can feel that, you know, it's uh, renewed. The situation has renewed, the relationship has renewed, and you're in love again or something. And the temperance is, again, peace and understanding, and you're talking properly with each other, no fighting, nothing. It's just like very calm and peaceful and nice kind of period, yeah? And, uh, well, it doesn't show anything else here. Just this uh, calm, restful, peaceful time of type of period, yeah. Uh, in some cases, well, of course, cups is water. You might go have a drink somewhere um, in a, I don't know together you might have a drink or uh, together you might love each other more for for the next one or two months mm. you might focus on uh, keeping your relationship um, you know loving and uh, calm and understanding you will try to sacrifice for the other person like with temperance we have this moderation so if you want to say something and you know that the other person will feel bad you probably will hold it to yourself and things like that so i think it's a pretty good calm situation here if it's a new love also it can be that it will be kind of a peaceful moment a peaceful and res uh, respectful type of you're respecting each other, you're talking nice to each other, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, let's pull one more card. Advice for you regarding this person. How to behave around this person. Nine of coins. I think it's a good way to behave with them as if you're absolutely satisfied, happy, content, you know, calm. Not, you don't need anything, you have everything. You love yourself, you're very, um, how to say, self-sufficient, and uh, they want to see you flourishing, they want to see you go that you look good, you feel good, you, you're well, you're healthy, you have everything, that sort of thing, so, and yeah, I think, just take care of yourself, don't worry about that person, everything will be fine. Okay, this was our reading number one. Let's move on to our reading number two. By the way, I have this feeling that if you look rich for this person, they would like it. Like you look like a princess or something, you know, a queen. Dressed up nice, you know, jewelry. Looks like you have money or something. So I don't know why I'm saying this. I just, it's, as you know, it's a richness card, celebrity card, um... People have money, you know, the rich girl card. So if you look like that, if you be like that, 
for some reason the advice is like this let's move on to our deck number two now this is our Minchai de Truria deck. It's not really a tarot deck, it's 97 cards, but it doesn't matter, we can still read it. So, question number one. Question number one. How do they see you now? How does this person see you now? Eight of Swords. Okay, Empress and Queen of Swords. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, uh, how do they see you? Um, well, they see you as, let's say, someone who. Well, very independent woman, first of all, of age. I would say older than, let's say, 25. I would say this is about 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. It can be older age. Mature, not old, mature, grown up, adult, you know. And Eight of Swords can mean a person has uh, responsibilities, a person is not very free, a person has some sort of restrictions and like you know a person is very has their own place um, it can be a married woman you know she has restrictions she cannot just um, go out with anybody like date she cannot date yeah she cannot uh, she doesn't have time maybe to date um, it can be a person who uh, restricts herself from doing something or saying saying something. So basically, I'm getting this simply mature, adult, grown-up, intelligent woman who is um, who you cannot cheat, with whom you cannot mess, because she is the queen of swords. She sees you. Um, she sees through you. Yeah. Usually, she has experience in life. She has knowledge and she has this critical thinking, she has skepticism and she might be a little bit intimidating for some people. She might be someone who is about to like scold you or shout at you. <laughs> like It can be also a superior person, but Eight of Swords also it talks about inferior in a way. In a way that, let's say... A little bit of depression going, a little bit of depression, limitation, restriction, maybe like, uh, well, let's say they feel you're not telling everything. If they feel that you're hiding something. They feel you're not being yourself. They feel something is missing or something is hidden when it comes to you. So, yeah, they see you that way. They see you that way. Okay, let's ask. Let's ask. Four of Cups is falling out. Well, Four of Cups is uh, boredom and disappointment and uh, not knowing what you want. It's like having everything but still not being happy. So maybe a relationship where the person is like indifferent a little bit. It can be, but you know, the reasons might be diff various. Maybe their depression, maybe their past experience, maybe the face in life, you know, etc., etc. It can be different type of reason for that. So question number two, what do they expect from you? What are the expectations from you? So we have Ten of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and we have this card, I think it's Prudence, yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's Prudence card and... Um, 
you know, it can be that uh, here the I don't know, they want you to not to donate the money or they want you to watch the family or be, again, moderate. It's almost like temperance. This deck has a temperance card, by the way. But it's still... But it's still they want you to be careful about something. Now, what do they want you to be careful about? I think about family, about some past, about some sort of maybe your tradition, your responsibilities, something like that. Yes, yeah, so I think Ten of Pentacles can represent your riches, your money, but also your uh, like family, uh, something related with family, with your culture, with your tradition things like that and it, it seems that uh, you are very brave here as a queen of swords and empress and uh, you know and you might be sharing a lot of stuff about yourself or the family or the money even maybe you want to help people maybe you have no limits when it comes to expressing yourself maybe you you know you want or they think that you do so I think they want you to be careful with things. They want you to be careful with what you're saying to people, with what you're doing. Um, they want to, you to be careful with whom you're sharing your love. Yeah. So maybe uh, they think maybe they think you're <clears throat> as they see you very. There's one danger card like I would say eight of swords can be depression and uh, even. Uh, mental problem or some sort of physical problem it can be simply feeling that you're like in jail maybe they are worried about that <clears throat> and they think that you might share these things with others maybe they don't want you to share these things with you either so maybe they want you to be careful uh, with them as well when you're sharing things with them as well Now, let's see. What are they afraid of when it comes to you? What are they afraid of when it comes to this relationship? What the King of Cups? We have the Seven of Pentacles. And water. Also, Knight of Cups reversed. Okay. You know what? I think they are afraid that you will run away with another man. To be honest. There is a potential rival in your relationship, the King of Cups. He might come for work to, to you. Um, let's see, you're meeting him. He comes from far away. And uh, this man might be a, a charmer, this man might be a player, they might be a nice person, I'm not saying, but they might be the same with everybody, like, not with you only, but like, you know, players. They are uh, flirting with everybody, and they want, and they just have this talent, you know, personality, I don't know what is that thing, charisma... Um, and they're not serious, but this is their style. This is their style of the way they communicate with people, the way they are. And the Knight of Cups reversed. It's like some uh, danger with proposal. Maybe there is some sort of uh, potential love proposal from that person towards you, from that person number two towards you. That <clears throat> hasn't happened yet, but might happen, let's see. Or the, that person is sensing, you know, that this person can be a potential rival. So I think they are afraid that you will suffer from this man. So they are very, this is that sort of reason. They might have an intuition, some sort of intuition, you know, about that other guy. They might have a clue who that guy is, you know. So, 
what will happen between you and your love interest the one you chose for this deck in the near future one to two months Knight of Wands. Okay, the lovers. Queen of Cups reversed. Well, I'm getting uh, a romantic situation. A romantic situation, let's see. Here, so we have uh, in this deck the lover's card means choice. It's a very interesting card because the woman is putting a crown on a man's face or a boy, even they look like poor and she looks rich because of the clothes, it doesn't have any color, it's just brown. I don't know if it's a king and just taking the his crown off of his head or, you know, or is she putting that crown on his head? Well, definitely, uh, it, it. I think in the next one or two months, it can be some sort of ultimatum, like a choice, like you will be, uh, how to say thinking whether to continue with this relationship or not maybe it's talking about the choice you know and it's in your hands because you have the power to put a crown on his head or take off of his head you know and he's not he's jealous i feel with the knight of wands is very emotional and kind of very anxious even and i'm feeling it's something to do with your choice maybe you will really, you really have someone else. Like this is that Knight of Cups who is very charming, and they're afraid they will lose you to to him. You know, maybe you will. It doesn't mean that you will do physically some sort of choice. It, these cards can still come up if you're thinking about it, and let's say you will be thinking about it. It can still come. Maybe he will ask you to, you know, choose me or him. You choose who am I to you, you know. You tell me your answer, you know, what about our relationship, you know. And you will be in charge in this of the situation. So, full card. King of Swords reverse and Queen of Wands. Well, it's just showing, you know, you're nothing that serious, I would say. You're just uh, maybe empty talking, empty talking, empty thoughts, empty something, not something serious. With the full card, I'm getting, you know, like like windmill, windmills, you know, your talk's empty, your action's empty, you're just maybe a fight or something, you discuss, you negotiate, but... Um, Where does it lead to? Well, uh, the man will hope. The man will hope that you will not leave or something. So I'm getting that uh, in this situation, he is the one who's after you. He's the one who's after you for some reason. It can be he needs money. He hopes that you stay because he needs money. Because literally, king of wands, prays. Don't go, don't go, because you have the money. It can be that sort of situation as well. So we have, yeah, very interesting situation. What do they think about you? You're like the wife, but also like the boss. But, but they also are afraid to lose you. But at the, at the same time, they don't think very good about you how to say they're more like afraid of you like you're the mom who's calling them and uh, i don't know what are they uh, expecting from you maybe to to bear with them to to, to wait prudence okay 
wisdom. They expect from you wisdom, maybe some spiritual outlook to, to, this, to your situation with this person. So I'm getting that in this case, a man is clinging on to you. They don't want to lose you. We forgot to ask for an advice. Let's ask, what is advice for you regarding this person? Four of Cups. Well, this card can talk that you're already fed and done with this person, you know. In some cases, it can talk that you're absolutely done with this person. There's nothing can save you because you don't want to be you don't, with this person. You don't want to work on this relationship. It can be that you don't care, you know, that sort of thing. You're indifferent. You don't know what to do, you know, here. But I don't feel any wish to improve things here with the Four of Cups. It's like you're ap um, there's apathy from your side. There's uh, indifference. Uh, so when this card comes up, if the question is, is it worth it? Is it worth it, you know? So what to do then? So it's good that we know that now that we're feeling this way, yeah? So what is advice? What to do about this? You feel indifferent, let's say. Okay, the Earth... Queen of uh, one, uh, yeah, Queen of Wands and the King of. Well, it shows Earth is like practical relationship grounding. Ground yourself. Um, keep that. Don't have a uh, emotional relationship here. Have the practical relationship here. Be grounded. Do what you're doing. And this man might be interested in money only here. So if you know that. It will be simpler, let's say, to deal with things. Because you know that you don't take it personally, maybe. Then, you know. Do they really? It's something like that. Like, it's practical. If you keep it simple, then there'll, there'll not be any headaches. If you try to make it very emotional, and is this my soulmate, and that sort of thing, then you should not think that way. Because I don't think that will help here. Situation with this man and getting some weird judgment. The person might be having some karmic lesson or some sort of uh, the God is communicating with this person right now. They are facing some sort of weird life lesson type of situation. Like awakening call is happening for them. Um, their problem. Well, here they might be very weak. Emotionally, they might uh, give in to other people, or they might be controlled by their past, or they might be controlled by some nostalgia, or by some good feeling, or something like that. Advice for that person. Um, give it up, give it up. It's like ending, you have to quit something. Quit doing something, yeah? They have to quit with something. Give up, give up. Don't go anywhere. Just stop it, I'm getting... And the outcome, like I'm getting, there's nothing else, nowhere else to go for them. Like, I don't know what it's talking about, maybe emotionally, whatever they're experiencing in that area, they have to kind of uh, clean themselves up emotionally and they have to stop doing what they're doing because it's the kind of call from God. And what will happen? Well, money will happen. Uh, it can be some sort of help for this person. You know, uh, some sort of... Maybe others will be generous to this person. Maybe that person will be giving away something. So, I think this person has help. And uh, people who are helping them. So, well... Hopefully, this person solves their problems and best of luck for them. Maybe it's not real big problems. Maybe it's just because I'm getting the jealousy, their attachment to you. But um, And that attachment happens because of some unhealthy things that this person is experiencing. But uh, I think this card is very promising in the end. It might show that someone will help them financially. Someone will protect them. Someone will not. Someone will 
um, how to say, take care of them, yeah? Okay, so this was our reading number two. Maybe it's a case where you're the mom of this person. <laughs> it can be that sort of situation as well. Let's have a look at our reading number three. Uh, yeah, num number three now. Okay, so let's have a look at our deck number three now. How does this person see you at the moment? Well, they see you good. They see you as someone, um, a potential romantic interest, someone to talk to, someone to, uh, to flirt to, someone who's pretty, beautiful, well off, <laughs> you know, um, a new person, you know, like you're the new person for them. Because I have page of cups and knight of cups, is this, the feeling is that uh, they don't don't still know you perhaps very well. It can be that they don't know you very well. Also, it can be that uh, you know if you're in a relationship, it can be that you have a child also, and they see you through that child, that um, that beautiful rich girl with a child. Who has a child, but who is young and beautiful, and I might just have a go on her, <laughs> you know. Uh, they might see you as a pretty modern person, modern and flirty and fun to be with, you know, someone who's up for a flirt, you know, that sort of thing, romantic. It can be that you are like a player as well, like, um, but you're not a desperate player, you have everything you need, it's just, you know, you might do it. Um, you have no baggage, you have no negativity, that sort of thing, you know, that's how they see you. So, what do they expect from you? What do they expect from you, the High Priestess, Page of Coins, Knight of Swords, what do they expect from you? Knight of Priestess, Page of Coins, Knight of Swords. Uh, well, Knight of Priestess and Page of Coins, it reminds me of a person who might be a creative person who writes things, who does some sort of editing, maybe journalism. Uh, you're a writer, maybe. And they might expect some sort of document from you. They might expect some sort of work from you, creative work. You know, and uh, fast. You know, like they are interested in your intelligence here, in your brain. You know, what can you offer to them? To do something fast, to do something, announce something. You know, like, I don't know, article, papers, and news, uh, but they expect you to work on it, research on it or something. And then, like, it seems like a work project to me. They're very clear about what they want from you, and it's something that you can offer, something that your talents can offer. Now, what are they afraid regarding this relationship? Empress... King of Coins, Five of Swords. Well, they're afraid of a conflict. They're afraid that uh, you wouldn't get along. They're afraid that there'll be some sort of rejection, um, some sort of cheating, some sort of lying, or even criticism, you know, from, I don't know, either someone else will criticize you, here because you are with them working or having a romantic relationship they are afraid of some sort of like bullying <clears throat> something like that like maybe other people will do it if it's a love triangle maybe they are afraid that someone will find out you know that sort of thing 
because I wonder why would you be uh, shown as empress? Empress usually is a married woman. King of coins. Yeah, so there is some some enemies maybe in this situation. They're afraid of those other people that they can cause problems. Maybe violence, maybe some sort of complaining, maybe some sort of aggression, anger from someone. So they're afraid of that base. I don't know now who is who because it depends on the situation. It can be maybe you know who these are, what is it talking about. Maybe it's just a conflict between you two. In some cases it can be that it's a conflict um, between you two plus some other group of people who don't, um, who have a problem with you being together, let's say. Okay, um, in some cases it can be criminality also, some sort of criminality and uh, being afraid of some criminals, <laughs> you know, uh, depends on the situation, yeah, what is your job, maybe you're detectives, I don't know, so it depends. Now, what will happen in the near future, one to two months between you two? Four of clubs, full, and star. Well, I'm getting that uh, you will be kind of happy with each other. If you work together, then you will be doing very well uh, in doing what you do. And uh, I'm feeling a little bit of um, happiness here happiness here between each other but the star card also talks thinking about each other a lot hopes um between each other maybe you will both appear on tv or a youtube channel or who knows like you'll take photos somewhere because star is the internet star is also um tv screens and things like that so maybe you know, this card wants to come out, Six of Cups. Maybe you'll, uh, um, you'll face some sort of uh, fame here, fame in this situation. And uh, maybe you'll be photographed by some paparazzis, <laughs> which Five of Swords can be paparazzis. They're very rude. I don't know. Like, uh, many people will be adoring you. Or something like that. And it'll feel weird. It'll feel crazy as usual. With a full card, I think. Uh, it's like, doesn't have anything to do with us. You know, what's happening on the screen or something doesn't have anything to do with us. It's just uh, their projection. These people who are looking at you, they project that. Okay, and you don't take it seriously. Yeah, you don't take it seriously also. What else ha will happen between you two personally? Justice, Magician, Nine of Swords. Hmm. Maybe you'll be questioning your relationship, you know, questioning whether this is right, whether this is not cheating, whether this is supposed to be, whether this is um, very good, you know. Uh, I'm getting that you're doubting some sort of like moral moral things about you think about moral things and ethical things and things like that. So So yeah, that's sort of situation. Now what is the advice for you when it comes to this person? Let's have a look. What is the advice for you? Four of coins. You know, I'm getting uh, be very careful, don't make <clears throat> abrupt decisions, um, save it for later, <laughs> save it for later, yeah, all the, <clears throat> I'm getting financial, it's important, something financially here, financial security is very important in this situation, to save the money, uh, you need the money, <laughs> uh, basically, um, be very practical, think about everything what you're doing, don't do anything stupid, just be very grounded, very normal. 
four of coins. I'm getting financial, some sort of, I don't know, either it's a financial worry or just uh, emotional poverty, how to say, where you feel that something is missing. Yeah, some disappointment uh, while being together. Someone's going somewhere, a foreigner woman. Uh, maybe um, one of you is of another ethnicity in this relationship, another ethnicity, another social status, another class, another caste, another something. Um, and uh, one of you is worried about that. I think if you're of another ethnicity, then you're worried. Will I be accepted? Will I be accepted? Um, what to do about that? I mean, don't, just don't worry about the parents. Just think about life. Just think about what you want. Just think, just look at the life like it's a new day every day, you know. Okay, so this is our situation. I hope it made sense and I hope it helped. So let's move on to our reading number four now. This is our deck number four, Medieval Scapini Tarot deck. Let's have a look. What do these cards have to say? So how does this person view you? How do they see you? Six of Cups, Eight of Cups, and Nine of Coins. Mm -hmm. Six of Cups. Okay, they see you like... <clears throat> they see you as their partner. They see you as a partner with whom they separated. Maybe they see you then as an ex. Maybe they see you like there is long distance happening. As you can see, uh, well, Six of Cups is um, the card of many, many things, you know, that happens between you. It can It's like looking like a Seven of Cups, to be honest, here. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the memories, maybe it's the past, maybe it's all various experiences that they remember about you. And uh, as you can see in this card, this is a couple, the female girl. <laughs> the, the girl is kissing the guy, hugging the guy, so he might see you as you know someone they're with or been with, and but the last card shows us the paths, like you're going separate ways or something, like you're separated. So it can be that it's a long term, long distance relationship. It can be that it's an ex situation, that sort of thing. Now, what do they expect from you? What do they expect? Page of Swords, the Devil, and Ace of Swords. Page of Swords, the Devil, and Ace of Swords. So it's like telling the truth, being brave, talking about something, just doing it, doing something that requires courage and guts. Now, what is this? Uh, I'm getting can be they expect you know sex sex from you you know simple as that. Uh, they might expect for you to break some sort of unhealthy relationship with someone else. Decide clearly about what you want to do about the other relationship. So what are you talking about exactly? What do they expect from you? Ten of Wands, Queen of Cups, and Nine of Swords.
So I think the, there is a situation they they know that you're very busy or they know that you have uh, lots of work and lots, your life is very busy, you know, that you have no time for them perhaps. It can be that um, in a way you're very tired or something or overwhelmed with something. It can be that you're overwhelmed. What is overwhelming you? But other relationships you have maybe other people in your life like multiple partners or like one more relationship so what do they expect from you maybe that you would think about some hurt because of it something like that that you would be sad about it nine of cups can be still showing that they expect you to love them expecting to return to them Something like that, they want positive outcome when it comes to this situation, yeah? The Sun card. Okay, so um, I'm getting something that you're having. Uh, multiple relationships, they are angry about that and they want you to come back to them. They want uh, maybe happiness with you, being together with you love maybe the kids are also what are you talking about they want action they want to work this out uh, it can be that they want to work with you somewhere like that you would offer them an offer to work somewhere okay so Something like that. Yeah, we have that sort of situation here. But I'm getting really that they are not uh, indifferent towards you. They really have very intensive feelings, emotions. It can be a mix of jealousy, anger, love, and jealousy. Yeah, jealousy I mentioned. So that sort of thing. Now, what are they afraid when it comes uh, to you and them? Five of Cups, Eight of Coins... And Seven of Cups. What are they afraid of happening? Okay. Cups. 